It's no secret that Xbox Game Pass is one of the best deals in gaming, offering a rotating catalog of old favorites, day one releases, and games you're kicking yourself that you missed all for a fairly decent price. Bump that price up a little to get Game Pass Ultimate and the catalog is expanded even further, offering EA titles and throwing some PC games in the mix too. With so many games on offer, where do you even begin? Look no further. Here's some recommendations for the best games to play on Game Pass based on what you're in the mood for. For more, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Genesis Noir is a trippy, stylized, cosmic, hard-boiled romp that'll take you through the ripples of space and time to solve a murder mystery that triggered the Big Bang. Yes, you heard that correctly. All of which is packaged with a slamming, beat-bop-style jazz soundtrack and an intergalactic surrealist style cranked up so high it's enough to make Carl Sagan blush. And best of all, it's not too demanding of the player either, but it's changing things up just enough to keep you hooked. If you're looking to kick back with a group of friends, then there are a lot of co-op games on offer. Escape a jail with your buddy in A Way Out, or band together with a group in Project Winter to survive the harsh snow. And try not to get stabbed in the back. If you're like Among Us, which is also on Game Pass, try that. If you're looking for something a little longer in the tail, grab some pails and set sail in Sea of Thieves. Because what's more fun than being a pirate? Being a pirate with a cute animal companion, that's what. If you bounced off Sea of Thieves when it first launched, now's the time to head back. There's a ton of new things to do, and honestly, it just makes for a really nice hub to hang around and goof off together in. If you're not in the mood to goof off and want something a little bit more thought-provoking, then you can try your hand at Nier Automata. Careful though, it'll definitely just make you very, very contemplative about the meaning of life. It feels weird to recommend a game that'll make you sad, but sometimes a little melancholy can spark the soul, and What Remains of Edith Finch is one of the most affecting games out there. You play as Edith Finch as she returns to her old family home and explores each room and talks about her family. Each family member's story is told through a unique vignette and is a truly beautiful exploration of death and grief. I can't recommend Edith Finch enough, but I'm aware that it might be a bit of a bummer. It is an easy 1000G though, if that's your thing. So let's pump things up a bit with Killer Queen Black. Killer Queen is an incredible and frenetic arcade game for up to 10 players and Killer Queen Black lets you take that experience home to enjoy from the comfort of your own couch. You gotta fight for your hive to par. I don't know how to finish that song, but Beastie Boys is a pun that works on multiple levels. You have multiple ways to fight for your hive, and it's part action game, part strategy. It may seem simple at first, but it's one of those games where you'll be screaming at the screen in no time. If you're looking for something a little more challenging, Ori in the Blind Forest and its sequel, Ori in the Will of the Wisps, can definitely fill that void. Don't let those beautiful visuals fool you. Within is a pretty tricky platformer. If you utter the words, the tree, to folks who have played, they might get a faraway look in their eye, as if to tell you not to do it. But honestly, it's such a fun challenge requiring a deft hand and a true command of Ori's abilities. Honestly, one of the best Metroidvanias of recent years. You, you're finally awake. Time for the obligatory Bethesda section. An absolutely historic acquisition in the gaming world in early 2021, the deal was finalized and Bethesda officially joined the Xbox family, and a number of its games joined Game Pass. That means there are so many to delve through, from Dooms to Elder Scrolls, Fallouts to Wolfensteins. But I'm here to plead with you. Please play an arcane game. Dishonored, Dishonored 2, or Prey. Any one of those is an absolute banger of a choice. If you love stealthy immersive sims and you haven't played the Dishonored series, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. If you want to get into some messed up sci-fi with aliens and powers, Prey is your game. There's a real artistic touch to everything Arcane makes, and Game Pass is an amazing way to introduce yourself to that studio. And look, I'd be a bad employee of GameSpot if I didn't use this time to recommend that you finally play Yakuza. Yakuza 0 through to 6 are all on Game Pass, and I don't have enough good words to say about that series. It's a gritty Yakuza crime drama meets surreal comedy meets management mini games that'll 
take over your life. Give it a whirl and see what the fuss is about. You can go from laughing out loud at how absurd it gets to really getting down into your feels in no time at all. Treat yourself and play through Kiryu's journey. The Game Pass library is ever-changing, so we'll be updating this list. Make sure to like and subscribe for more on Game Pass and everything Xbox. Let me know your favorite gem you discovered on Game Pass, and we might highlight it in the next vid for everyone to enjoy. I'm Krut Indovina, and you can find me on Twitter at Kurt underscore Indovina. See you later, folks!